This is gonna be some flavorful chicken from the inside out. I'm gonna get started on my potato stuffed chicken. So I have diced one Yukon Gold potato. I'm gonna get my skillet hot, season my potatoes with a little salt and pepper. I'm using Yukon Gold because I love the buttery texture. Some oil to my pan. I'm gonna add some butter as well. Cook it off for just a little bit, not too much. I don't want it to get mushy. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna prepare the rest of the stuffing. So I also have a crown of broccoli here. I'm not gonna use all of this. I wanna chop this broccoli pretty fine. So I'm also using country ham in this recipe. I had to do something better than just like a little boring old chicken breast. Like I can give them that anytime. It's gonna add a little bit more saltiness and flavor to this dish. All right, so I'm gonna check on my potatoes and they look great and I don't wanna cook it anymore. So I'm gonna turn that heat off, let it cool out and finish the rest of my filling. I'm going to shred some Gruyere cheese and some sharp cheddar. Now I'm gonna add my potatoes to this bowl. Use a spoon here. All right, let me grab my chicken. Now I decided to use bone in chicken breast with the skin on um, to add a little bit more flavor to this dish. But if you have boneless, skinless chicken breast, you can use that as well. This is a complete meal right here. We can stop where we're headed, you know, make a little omelet out of this too, see? I am going to make a little slit into my chicken breast and make a little cavity to stuff my filling in, making sure I don't hit that bone I don't want to split the chicken, just create a pocket. I'm going to stuff this into my chicken breast. Look how pretty that is already. And after I stuff the chicken breast, I'm going to close it up with these little skewers here. This is gonna be some flavorful chicken from the inside out. All right, so I'm gonna sear this off in the same skillet. So I think this one is almost there. There you go. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I have my oven preheated to 375. I am going to put this off until the internal temperature reaches about 165. That should take about 30 to 35 minutes. The chicken is done. Nice and brown. The cheese is bubbling. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 